Here you can see we've got tiny little milkweed pods. These are so beautiful. They're very small. You go down here, here's one a little bit bigger. I just use my fingernail. I open it up. You can see the seeds, it's nice and white. See how it's nice and white? It's not yellow or brown. You can see them in the, the silk that's in there. And you can see that it's, see the liquid coming out? It's nice and moist. That's ready. You can eat this raw, it's delicious. It's just delicious. So remember, another very important thing, you don't ever want to over harvest. We want to make sure that all of our plants that we're working with can always continue to grow. I just want to be good with nature. I'm not going to take everything because I just want to be fair to nature. Don't want to be greedy. So remember, you don't want to ever over harvest. So now we're home after gathering and foraging our milkweed. And again, this is common milkweed, and we don't want to get it confused with dog bane. So what we're going to do is kind of like when you're thinking about when you're um, snapping peas, there's kind of like a little, a little tough piece. So I like to kind of take those off when I'm, when I'm washing and preparing them. So I just kind of use my fingernails. That's when they come in handy. And just kind of snap them off. And again, we do, we do love to eat these raw. But for if you're, you're new to this, just slow and steady. Just try maybe one bite, and I would probably cook it first. Um, a lot of people will talk about, oh, you've got to cook it. Um, you've got to keep changing the water three or four times as you're boiling it. But because this is common milkweed, it's not bitter at all. We, we don't find it bitter whatsoever. It's a wonderful flavor. And a lot of people are thinking that they're trying to get rid of the bitterness. There isn't a bitterness to this because we're eating the common, uh, most thought of um, milkweed. And it, it's, not, it's not the one that's going to have more, more of the, the, the toxins in them. Um, when, we, when we opened it, the silk inside, you can actually pull that out, the silk on the larger ones, and not too big. You still want it to be white, the silk inside to be white, and you still want it to be moist. Um, if, it, if it starts turning a, the least little bit of yellow or brown, discard it, way too old. Um, but the ones that are a little bit larger like this, you can go maybe even get a little tad bit bigger. You can pull the silk out, and I like to cook it in with like my quinoa, um, and it, it's, it's almost like a cheesy consistency and almost a cheesy flavor, but there's just so many nutrients in this and it's just so delicious. I can't wait if you do end up trying this. But again, always err on the side of caution because we don't know how our bodies are going to react to new food that is, is just so full of nutrients that we're just not accustomed to and we know any of us can be allergic to things. So just take your time, slow and steady, so I'm going to wash these up, I'm going to boil them, and uh, you can put them in, you can even put them in your potato salads if you wanted to, if they can be eaten cold after they've been cooked. Um, you can put them in stews and soups. Um, just eat them after they've been cooked lightly with some garlic on them. They're just so good, it's delicious. So now the milkweeds are done and they're nice and tender. Again, you can put them in a soup, in a stew, put them in different salads, put them and chill them, and um, you know, just, just even just but you, you have them for a snack. They're just delicious. But again, always err on the side of caution. Just take one little bite, uh, and maybe, and and just see how you feel for a day. Just take it slow and steady. There's no chance, no real no reason to risk um, any kind of side effects because this is something so new. Your body, it's something new to your body, um, and it's, it hasn't been altered by man. It's right from nature, it's what it was designed to be. And it's so exciting. There's just so many uh, new things that we're gonna be teaching you on our foraging series. So many things to look forward to. So they're all taken out of the, the, the hot water, they're all nicely 
prepared. Now we're just going to add a little bit of garlic powder. It's something we really just love to put on ours. Again, I don't really use salt because uh, vegetables have their own natural salt, sodium in them, and they give us just what we need. So I don't really add, but we do love our garlic powder. Rox does like her onion powder as well. So we do add a little bit to that to there as well. And that's all we do. And again, you can eat them warm as a side dish, uh, chill them and add them to other dishes or, or whatever you'd like. It's the, the sky's the limit. And now it's time to eat the milkweed pods. They're so good. I mean, to me, I always think they're kind of like, kind of like a pea pod almost. Well, don't you think they're kind of like a pea pod? Mm -hmm. It's hard to describe, but they do have a flavor of their own. And and then when you chill them, it's just another another realm to them. But add them to things, it, you just can't believe you're going out and for free harvesting out in the wild these wonderful foods full of nutrients, and it's just, it's, it's exciting. So we hope you've enjoyed this episode of Fountain of Youth TV with foraging milkweeds. And you know our motto, take charge of your health destiny. You can do it. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for joining us today, and we'll see you. Take care. Bye-bye.